Hey everybody, I just uh, spent an hour with my younger son, Matt. We get together about, uh, well, once a week we try to meet early in the morning for coffee and for some fellowship and some prayer and just to, uh, you know, kind of encourage one another. And today, I mean, we don't plan what we're going to talk about usually. Sometimes we have things on our heart that need to be discussed or or ministry uh, issues, whatever. But today, I mean, the conversation just, I believe was directed by God. As we were talking about faith and how how faith is such a very vital part of a, of a Christian's life and walk with God. And faith is one of those things that we don't get it all together at once. It's The Bible says that we go from faith to faith. Our faith grows, our faith becomes stronger through each trial and through each you know heavy heaviness that we go through the burdens of life the cares of life those are the things that do strengthen our faith and uh, you know it's, it's not pleasant it's not easy you know we wish we didn't have to go through it but that is the way that God has orchestrated our growth in faith because that is what God is after more than anything else in our life it's that steadfast solid firm faith that will not quit that will not quit regardless of the situation regardless of the battles regardless of the people regardless of the feelings and emotions all of those things that try to dampen and extinguish our faith that try to put out our faith all of those things that are constantly bombarding us you know non-stop at times and yet it's faith that keeps us going. It's faith that keeps our eyes on the Lord. It's faith that keeps our hearts right with God, pursuing God, seeking God, loving God, desiring God, you know, spending time with God, all of those things, meditating on God. That is what God is after in our life. It's that, it's that simple faith. It's not complicated. It's not uh, out of reach. It's not. It's not. God calls us to a life of faith. God delights in faith. Hallelujah. Hebrews 11 verse 6. Without faith, we cannot please God. The Bible says it's impossible. And you know, there are times when we just don't understand what God is doing in our life. It makes no sense to us at all. And uh, you know, we were, we, my son and I, we were talking about uh, confirmation that quite often, mostly, most likely always, God will confirm his will after we have taken that step of faith and not before. I know that's not the way we want it. <laughs> we want God to show up with all kinds of proof and evidence and confirmation. Okay, God, now I'll take that step of faith. Sometimes he'll do that depending on the, on the, on the circumstances, depending on the intensity of what he's calling us to do. But mo most often, I know in my own experience and Julie's experience of, of us together, we have always taken a step of faith and then God has brought that confirmation and we rejoice in that we thank God in that I remember some time back you know I asked the Lord I was going through a very difficult season a very hard time in my life and uh, you know more more unusually difficult and I, I said Lord how long is this trial gonna keep on going how long do I have to keep going trusting you in this thing and you know, the Lord spoke so clearly to me and he said, just one more day, just one more day. What the Lord was saying to me, he wasn't saying it's going to all end today. No, he was saying, I'm going to give you the grace and the strength. I'm going to give you the power. I'm going to give you everything that you need for one more day. Hear me now, beloved. Hear me now. I know you're going through things. I know you are. We all are going through things. I just received a message from a dear precious saint of God. She's she's going through a, 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 an attack right now, a spiritual battle right now. I get it, I get it, the Lord gets it. God is saying one more day, that's all you've got to endure, one more day. And then you get through that day, the next day he will give you the grace. The next day he will give you the grace. The Lord knows how hot to make the fire. He knows how long to keep us in the fire. He knows what he is looking in our life to produce that purification of his holy fire in the battle, in the attack, in the hardship, in the pressure, in the intensity. God is bringing forth pure gold. That's what he's after. And that gold represents our faith. Hallelujah. He is after pure faith. Amen. 
And so be encouraged today, beloved, in the battle, in the trial, in the furnace. Be encouraged today because you will come out on the other side of victory and your life will be so much richer. Your faith will be so much purer. Your, your, your love for the Lord will be so much stronger. Your compassion for others will be so much greater and real and, and, and effective. Glory to God. So rejoice in the Lord even now as you're under this battle. Rejoice in the Lord as you're going through this trial because you will come through it. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, I just speak a blessing now, God. I speak a greater faith, God. I speak a greater peace, I pray. Peace be still and know that he is God. Lord, thank you for that today. We believe you. We trust you. This too shall come to pass and it will end. And Lord, on the other side will be such blessing, such favor, such victory, such power, such anointing, such authority like we have never known. In your mighty name we pray, Jesus. Amen and amen. God bless you and have a wonderful day today. God bless.